everyone and welcome back to the Voyage to Disney Down Under. I'm here with Andrew. Hello everybody. And today we are not doing Disney. We have just... Yay! He doesn't mean that, he loves Disney. I do love Disney. We have just come back from a 10 day holiday with the children. Six kids, yes. two adults. Oof, never again. Across Australia <laughs> to the sunny surface paradise. No, we had a ball. We did. We had a ball. Uh, one thing I will say, I will never go in school holidays again. No. So many people. The first week wasn't so bad because it was only Queensland school holidays. But the second week we were there, it was the whole of Australia on school holidays mm -hmm. and New Zealand, I believe. Yep. So, so it was pretty busy. It wasn't enjoyable. Seemed like half the... Southern Hemisphere was at the theme park. It was just unbelievable. But anyway. We have been before, so we... We can compare it. We've went yeah. outside of school holidays and there was nobody there. It was just go on a ride, come around, go again, come yeah. around. This time it was wait at least half an hour every ride. And some were two hours. Yeah, some were two hours. Um, unbelievable. Uh, 45 minutes for Green Lantern. Yep. Um, yeah, it was, it was phenomenal. So next time we will not go during school holidays. Yes, and if you do go during school holidays, make sure you fork out for a fast, fast pass. pass. Because I was very jealous of watching people walk past me straight to the ride, <laughs> and I've been already been there for half an hour. But anyway. Okay, so today's video we're going to talk about our trip, show some photos, and show our merch. Yes, we are. Because we did buy some pretty good loot. We did, we did. Not as much as we have done before, but... No. um. But it was a little different this time. So this time we we gave the children two hundred dollars each and said that's your spending money. You spend it however you like, but don't come complaining when you've run out. Um, last time we went, it was just mum, dad, can I have this? Yeah, we'll just fork it out. But we spent a lot more yeah. money that way. So we think this is the this is the way to do it. Yeah, from now on. Yeah. Um, that was just that two hundred dollars was just extra. By the way, we did buy them stuff Extras, as well, and obviously we bought all the food, all the ice cream, all the drinks. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, it was just their extras, their personal merchandise they wanted. Yes. So first, we're going to start with before we even flew out. Was it the day we were flying out? Yeah, it was the Sunday okay. that we flew out. So the yeah. Sunday we were flying out, hubby here runs off to the city, and he comes back with some gifts for me. Like a pre-holiday pre -holiday gift. gift. Get you in the mood. It was in the mood because I only own Disney bags. I have Loungefly Disney. I have Danny on the call Disney. You do? I only have Disney bags. So Andrew ran off to buy me some Looney Tune bags. Yay. So that I had some awesome bags to wear to Movie World. So the first bag he bought me was this Awesome Porky Pig, that's all folks bag. This is a Danny on a coal bag. It's very glittery. So cute. It's round. It just has one opening. It held everything I needed. Really like this bag. Love the colouring, love the glitter. Really fit into the theme park. Oh, the only sad thing is... got a picture of your husband on the front. <laughs> Porky Pig isn't really represented in the park. He's got a Too statue, a, a few statue. paintings. Yeah, he's not in yeah. there very much. No character appearance as a Porky, which is a bit sad. Yeah. And then, Considering he's the first ever Looney Tunes character. He was the original. Before Bugs, before Daffy, he was the first Looney Tunes character. It would have had been nice to have seen him represented a little bit more. Yes. And then he bought me a second bag as well. And this bag is pretty awesome because it's actually two in one. Mm. You can actually use it as a set where there's actually three sections you can put stuff in or you can unclip one section and you've got you know an extra bag or two bags so this is a it's again danny on a coal it's gossamer and bugs bunny bag so i didn't take the gossamer part to the park purely because it doesn't have much space it's only a little clutch um i took the gossamer part off and i carried around the bugs bag which has a nice long strap inside and even this little carrot has like a little coin purse on the back, which I actually put my lip gloss in. But anyway, these are super cool bags. It was a great surprise. Got spoiled before we even went on holiday. Yes. 
Now, the flight to Queensland was not very enjoyable. Didn't like it. Didn't no. like the time. We flew out midnight. Didn't get to Queensland uh, till six. Yeah. And I didn't sleep at all. No, and our little nearly two-year-old, first time on a plane, she didn't really enjoy it. No. She's very unsettled, very uncomfortable. Um, yeah, she, so it wasn't a great flight to Queensland. No. Um, and then we couldn't, well, we weren't meant to check into our accommodation until two o'clock. We did actually go and get pancakes. Pancakes? Because that seems to be our tradition. Pancakes in paradise, absolutely delicious. Delicious food. Um, and then we were just sitting around them all tired. Andrew did go off to build a bear, seems to be his tradition. So the first time we went in 2017, I brought Mark. He brought Mark a Power Rangers build a bear. And this time he bought Bianca a build a bear. And he got, from the new Wizard of Oz collection, Dorothy. Now, isn't that bear cute? Very cute. The only criticism I have with this bear is the shoes. They should have been red. They're not ruby. I They're don't know definitely not ruby. why they've made pink. They're called ruby slippers for yeah, a reason, it, people. So I'm actually on the hunt on eBay to try and find some older shoes, um, red ones, because I think this bear needs some red slippers. What do you reckon? Yeah. But she's very cute. She's got little ribbons in her hair. Uh, I think Andrew wants the whole set now. Now we've got to go hunt down the Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Cowardly Lion. Yeah, they've got them all. Mm. So, so yeah, he got that for Bianca, which Bianca loves. She carried it around everywhere. And a little bit of Disney, guys. Andrew got me Timon from The Lion King. Build-A-Bear plushie. Now I just Very have to hunt cute. you down Pumbaa to go with this. Yeah, suit. we need Pumbaa. Yeah. So, yeah, that's got the Lion King stamp on the bottom of his feet. But yeah, that's really cute. So I did manage to get some Disney in on this trip. Disney. You like Disney? No, I do like Disney. So we did check into our accommodation early. I called them up and we all went to sleep. And then we woke up and we went for Brazilian barbecue. Really good. Wow. Delicious. Yeah. All you can eat barbecue meat. They bring it to your table, carved right off the skewers. Pretty impressive, guys. And we tried game meat like crocodile and kangaroo crocodile, and kangaroo. they were yummy they were nice, um, yeah. we tried chicken oh. hearts i think i that wasn't bad pass on those i think i'll have those again they're a bit chewy and just not really I pleasant actually, i actually enjoy them the one i wasn't so fond of was the crocodile I, it hasn't made up its mind whether it wants to be a chicken or a fish yeah it's got the texture of fish but tastes like a chicken yeah so i was a bit you know it wasn't horrible but i wouldn't Eat it again. The kangaroo was delicious though. Yum, delicious. Yum. Yeah, mm, very yum, good. Yum. So, over in Queensland, they also have Starbucks, which we don't have here in Perth. And we make sure we go there when we go over to Queensland. And this time we purchased this awesome Starbucks Queensland mug, or Gold Coast. So, picturing on it is great. We plan on getting a Starbucks mug, because I have these for everywhere everywhere we visit so we know there's a starbucks in brisbane yeah there's one in melbourne there's one in sydney yeah. maybe they'll bring one to perth we seem to miss out on everything i don't know so that was cool really nice. like that cup did try some new flavors at starbucks the cinnamon cookie crunch frappuccino was delicious wasn't bad you i tried the pumpkin spice frappuccino Ooh wasn't too bad. Didn't like that. I would never buy that again. I don't recommend it to anybody. It was very bitter. It was not pleasant. Really? I wasn't. Yeah. I didn't think it was that bad. Didn't like it. So, yeah, that was probably the worst thing I had on my whole holiday, I'd say. Okay. It was that Frappuccino. Yeah. Oh, so we also, if you guys want to go check out some our other videos, managed to get three of our children to go on the slingshot. So we got this cool little wristband for them, gives them half price slingshot rides for life. Um, can't really show you much. Just go check out our videos. They are pretty entertaining, especially um, Aaron, our son Aaron. <laughs> he, um, I reckon the whole of Australia heard him scream. <laughs> yeah. It was very funny. It very entertaining. entertaining. Please watch. So yeah, check out our other videos of our children doing the slingshot. There are three slingshot videos. There is one of Valentine and Aaron, there is one of Bridget and Valentine, and then there is a spectator's view of us watching Valentine and Aaron, which is pretty entertaining. Mm. So yeah, check those out, guys. So now we'll move on to... Where do we go first? Dream World. Dream World. Dream World. 
Okay, so Dream World was the first park we went to. It is the biggest park. It's the biggest, yes. We had only planned to go there for two days, but we actually ended up there for three. Because um, we just couldn't get everything done. There's so, so much many, to do. And there was so many people. Yeah. So, I mean, the first time we went, we would have done it in a day and a half, two days. But there were so many people this time, we needed extra time. Yeah. So here's a picture of the park. The map. Um, there's all different sections. It's, it's very well themed. So you've got like a DreamWorks section. There's the Australian Corroboree, which is all the animals. There's sort of like a Western kind of... Um, with the log ride. Oh, and yeah, yeah. And the, the buzzsaw. The, and the vintage cars and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it, it also has a water park connected to it, which we didn't go to this time. Two of the children did. Um, they went off on their own and did a few rides there. But, um, yeah, we did buy some merch. There's a Lego store at Dream World, mm. which we love. We love, yes. We're Lego some fans. Major spending at the Lego store. Yes, we did. Which we'll show you guys in a minute. Um, what was your favourite ride that you went on at Dream World? Uh, I like the Hot Wheels uh, roller coaster. That's about my thrill limit. Um, but I did manage to do the Tower of Terror 2, which was entertaining to say the least. I mean, it speeds you at 160 kilometres in two seconds. So that's G force of about six. Goes, you go straight up. And then you come down face first at the same same rate. Um, I didn't think I would do it, but I did do it. And to commemorate the occasion, I bought the Tower of Terror 2 shirt. I've done it. It shows Tower of Terror. And the Tower of Terror on the back. I did not do this ride. Um, Bridget did not do this ride, but Valentine, Aaron and April did. Um, Aaron said it wasn't as bad as the slingshot. So, um, yeah. We also bought the Tower of Terror 2 mug. Pretty scary looking mug. Yep. But we do like to get some merch from rides mm. that, especially scary rides that take them a lot to get on. Yeah. I did it. I've done it now. I'll never have to do it again. No, you know what? If I went again, I'd probably do it again. It's quite, it's quite good. Next time, the slingshot for this one. Yeah. You can get me on there. My favourite. I have probably two favourites at this park. It would have to be the new Sky Voyager. That was that very was good. Very, very good. nice. Very yeah. peaceful, really. Um, it's kind of like... How would you explain it? It's uh, virtual reality, but the seat... It makes you think you're flying. It's unbelievable. You feel air, yeah. you get water on you, there's odor, smells. There's smells, yeah. Um, and it was an Australian theme, so it, it was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, the landscape, the waterfalls, yeah. the, all the animals. I think you see the cattle, the sheep, the cattle farmers, and the, the wild kangaroo. It's just, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um, and it's probably my second favourite ride, I would say, behind the Hot Wheels. Yeah. Uh, my other favourite ride was the log ride. Again, the scenery was brilliant. It's very peaceful until you get mm -hmm. the last drop. And then it's a bit scary and you get absolutely drenched. We do have a video of that one if you want to go have a look. Mm. Um, I took the GoPro on that video. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to take the GoPros on any thrill oh. rides. No. Which is what we actually bought the GoPro for. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. We got good mm. views of the parks, did like walkthroughs and stuff, which was brilliant. So yeah, the log ride was great. Love the Sky Voyager. Um, and yeah, you've explained your favourites. So, the Corroboree. They have an Australian um, section of animals. So there's mm -hmm. snakes and kangaroos and koalas and... My personal favourite, the Tasmanian Devil. Tasmanian Devil. Very cute. They also have um, photo opportunities where you can book in photos holding animals. Now, the first time we went back in 2017, we held a koala. It's quite a big koala. I was yeah. a little jealous because the people this time around had baby koalas. Where yeah. That one we had last time was massive. Yeah, big daddy. Really heavy. <laughs> and he peed on me, mm. which was not pleasant. We actually got a photo with two new animals this time. And unfortunately for me... You had a photo with an owl, didn't you? I did have a photo with an owl. And you have a story about that, don't you? Which decided why I was holding it to regurgitate the bottom half of an eaten mouse. 
And of course, I was laughing. I, it was hysterical. Just it was this so funny. Slimy, disgusting butt and tail of a mouse. <laughs> um, which the lady thought was funny to hold up and offer me to take it home. So I don't know what it is with these animals, but. Yeah, they're lucky. They like to pee on me and Regurgitate. offer me disgusting little regurgitated mice. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, the photo is pretty cute. Um, so I'll show you. So that, the owl was beautiful. The kids loved the experience of hold, well, me holding it. Um, yeah, it's not every day you get to hold an owl. So, and you see Andrew's there wearing his Tower of Terror 2 shirt. Mm. Just done it, I was proud of myself. <laughs> and then the second animal, this one's a bit of a shame because we were meant to have every child in this photo. Uh, we only ended up with three out of the six. We kind of knew Aaron was not going to come back. He's petrified of snakes. He's terrified of snakes. Um, we did tell him to be back for the photo. Um, he conveniently forgot. Yeah. <laughs> time slipped his mind but anyway the snake was beautiful um carpet python it was awesome absolutely photo. beautiful mark and bianca loved it little miss bianca loves animals so she was in absolute awe of this snake she had no problems touching it um yeah another great photo something you don't get to do every day mm -hmm. which is what we like about mm -hmm. it yeah no, that, that snake was one of my favorite moments of the, the whole other yeah, it was um, absolutely beautiful. Carpet python, gentle. And they kind of like hug you. Like they yeah. really just grip onto you. Yep. And it's like a snake cuddle. Yep. Now, when you're at Dream World, or all the theme parks for that yep. matter. Dream World, Movie World, Sea World. You can buy a cup. Do you think that is $13.95? But the thing is, it's unlimited. Unlimited drinks. So you can fill it up. As soon as you fill, um, drink one, you fill it up and that's all day. And you take it back the following day and you reactivate it and it's only $7.99. So yeah. I just, you can have a hundred of these if you want, a day. We had like three of them going. So yeah. between the eight of us and the kids just went and refilled yeah. them. So it, it's cheap for drinks. Cause normally drinks is a killer we find when we yeah. take our big family out. Yeah. Um, drinks cost a fortune. So this is the cheapest way for us to do it. Plus we get a really I like the, the cups, they're pretty cool. Cool little souvenirs to put in our cabinet. Mm -hmm. um, so we did get some from SeaWorld Movie World, which we'll show you later. So yeah, that was really cool. And for little B, we got Skipper the Penguin from Madagascar. And that's um, from, from Dream World Land. So. Dream World has um, a huge Madagascar, Kung Fu Panda and Shrek area. Mm. It is very, nicely designed De detailed yeah um, the only sad thing we found with dream world this time is the characters uh there's mm. not as many now yeah um, we because we went two years ago and they had poe shrek donkey no 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 it no, wasn't donkey. Puss, Puss and fiona. Boots, fiona um all the madagascar characters um the only ones we saw this time were the madagascar characters and they seem to only be available once a day after their show yeah yeah so that was disappointing because little Marky and Bianca and me love the characters. We love the photo opportunities. So, Dream World, fix it. Bring back the characters. Yeah. I mean, last time we went, we spent one whole day just, just waiting for characters. Yeah, yeah, photo opportunities with the characters. Yeah, the good family photo opportunities. Yeah. And when we piped, because we purchased a uh, photo pass, digital photo pass, so um, the photos are normally sixteen ninety five each. But if you spend forty dollars on this photo pass, you get them all to downloaded to your phone for free. You can yeah. just get a big W and print them for like a dollar. Yeah. Um. So we bought that not knowing that all the characters weren't there. So, um, we were expecting a lot, a lot more, more for photo. our money. Yeah. Because B, she, she, Bianca's never seen you know the characters before, so I was looking forward to seeing her all excited. And because I know Mark ran after him and. Mm. I thought B would do the same thing, but no, not to B, they weren't there. So, but that was just Dream World. The, that other, was just Dream the World. other parks were a whole different Inter story. Different story, yep. It's a uh, Lego store. Lego store. On the way out, we did the Lego store. Now, you 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 explain what you got. Okay, Andrew was very naughty. I told him not to buy it, 
only because I was worried about, you know, it was the beginning of our trip, a lot of money. Obviously, I am so excited to own this. Um, we had to unfortunately leave the box back in Queensland because um, it was too big to pack. But I own the new Disney Lego. This is a $500 Lego, guys. And it's going to go perfectly with my castle, which we already own. It is a motorized train. It has Goofy, Chip and Dale, Minnie and Mickey. It's really, I can't wait to build this. So I'm so excited. Although I told him not to buy it, obviously. Well, there was nothing Disney on the holiday. So I thought we've got to do get something Disney, considering she's devoted to Disney down under. So I got it for her. This is an awesome piece. I, it, it's, it's brilliant. I'm so excited to have it. Um, yeah, can't I wait just to build want to see, it. I just want to see it built. We only just got it. back from holiday. I will build it. Okay. Um, and there'll and be a video on it once it's built, guys. Um, when I got that, I got this free. This was a giveaway for the day. The new Hidden Side Lego, which apparently runs with an app. Um, so, got that for nothing. And then, they gave me a loyalty card, and because I'm not going to be back there for a long time, um, I spent it all on the day. Bought a few collectible minifigures, which I don't have here to show off. But, um, and this cup for little Marky. Which is Nexo Knights, which is actually a deleted line now, I think. We just thought the cup was cool yeah. with the Lego pieces and the bottle rattling around. The cup was cool. Um, more. So when we went to Queensland the first time um, in 2017, they've got a build your own mini figures. So we went with, who did we have? It was you and I, Valentine, Bridget, April and Mark. I was pregnant with Bianca and Aaron didn't come with us. Um, so last time we built all of us, and this time, because we had Bianca and Aaron with us, we built them. So yep. now we've got a minifigure of our whole family. That was Bianca. I might take them out and show you guys. They're pretty cute. They've got all different hairs, all different um, props for, the, for them to hold, different clothing. This is little Bianca, so minifigure. And she's always eating, so she has a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have... Little Aaron. Aaron built himself. He built himself and he loves Subway. So he's holding a baguette. He's holding a baguette. And then we just got a bonus for you. Because this you had to build three. Yeah. Three for 20. Three for 20. Yeah. So we just got a hippie. Yeah. That's pretty hippie cool. Lady. Now we've got a, everyone in our family. Represented in many things. And the cool thing is Andrew and I are actually planning on making our own Lego theme park. So we, display yeah. so then we can put our little characters yeah I, we already have the yeah. uh, ferris wheel yep um, um i know there's available a roller coaster and a merry-go-round and we do have a lot of the lego friends first wave of amusement don't bring up mini dolls I'm not talking about the mini dolls but talking about the sets so there's yeah. other rides and that and we have got on lay by all the new toy story Lego, which some of the amusement rides and that will be good just to yeah, put into our yeah. theme park. Yep, yeah, that's right. And the last item, which was a Lego store exclusive, which is actually a Lego Lego store. So I thought this will that will remind us of our trip that's very to good. the Lego store. It will. There's only a few items there. A few little miscellaneous own. items. We have a. Dream World magnets put on our fridge. We'd like to get the magnets from the park. And because we were so impressed with the Sky Voyager, we got that magnet. Um, fantastic ride. And what's this one? This is just a photo frame to put one of our family photos in. I think this was, it was like one of the, every store has like a $5 special, so you just buy oh, money. Okay. This is a photo frame. It's right there, it just clips back in. Okay. This is a photo frame um, from DreamWorks World in DreamWorld. So you see all the DreamWorks characters around. Shrek, Poe, Gloria, Marla. So it'll be good to put a photo in and we can put that in our holiday cabinet. Yes. So that's it for DreamWorld's loot. So where did we travel next? We went to SeaWorld next. SeaWorld? SeaWorld. Okay, so SeaWorld, it's a very relaxing park. Yeah, loved it. It's not incredibly big. There's not too many thrill rides. 
Um, they are opening up a whole new section come 20... 2021. 2021. It's a new Atlantis section. Actually, I think it might be finished the end of next year. December, I think it yeah, said, yeah. yeah. So um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, world's One of the world's biggest ro uh, wooden roller coasters will be there. The new Trident, right? Well, it's not new really Trident. new. They've got the swings there. They're just going to add a Trident to it. Yeah. Um, but there is a new, um, like a wave. A bit like yeah. the one that just closed down from Dreamworld, yeah, I think yeah, it is. Yeah. A new um, wave kind of ride that's so, coming. Looking forward to that. Should be good. Um, a lot of people don't agree with um, SeaWorld. Well, we love I it. love it. Um, um, they're all about conservation, um, anim uh, all about animal health. Um, you know, they're all got A1 medical care, dietary needs met. You know, I mean, they're happy. Whoever doesn't agree with it, well, do your research, uh, people. Do your research, eh? It's ridiculous. Um, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love it there. Love it. And I go every time I'm there. sit there for hours. Mm -hmm. Sit there for Just, hours. There's like a huge underwater aquarium. Yeah, you shark bay. Sharks, yeah. The stingrays. Yeah. You can touch the stingrays. Um, they've got polar bears, which we got to see again. We just did the baby two years ago. So we yeah. saw the polar bears again. Polar bears, yep. Yeah. Dolphin, uh, seals. Is it Mishka? Mishka, Mishka yeah. The little, yeah. little um, cub. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Loved it. So there's a few new things there since we were there. And it up. wasn't as busy as the other two parks. No, not at all. Yeah. Um, there was a few new things there since we went last time. There's a new jet ski ride which Andrew and the kids went on. That was good. That wasn't new. It was just a close. It wasn't open when there. we were there last we time. We it's new to us. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was good. I enjoyed that ride. Um, fast. Um, a few thrills on that one. Um, the storm. Storm. You managed to go on the storm. Yeah, I don't think I'll go on that again. I think uh, I've discovered I'm not a thrill ride. <laughs> it gives you the illusion of you're going to lose your head um, when you go down this steep... You, lo you lose your whole stomach. Yeah. It, it's not pleasant. I didn't like it. Um, I love it. Um, it's the theme of there's a hurricane going to hit Gold Coast or a cyclone. Um, and basically, you're in a storm. And that's why you have to get on this ride. Yeah, it's, it, it's amazing. It's really good. The I enjoy it. kids love it. Yeah. Um, and this swing, which takes you in the air and just swings so you like, around. The the I'll tell you the uh, scenery from that ride is beautiful. See all the water and the um, what do you call them? The um, estuaries. Um, yeah, beautiful. Uh, the animals. We didn't see the dolphins much. No, because we did see them. Yeah, because they're but very briefly. They're usually in a different section, um, but because they're developing Atlantis, they've had to move. Yeah. Yes, the, um, the seal show, fantastic, and that, the, I mean, they've even changed the seal show. Last time we were there, it was just a cops and robbers show. Yes. There was nothing about recycling or um, conservation or anything like that. But they've changed time. the whole show to theme it on how to recycle, um, help to wildlife, keep, help safe. wildlife, keep the waterways clean, do not pollute. So it's, it's a good message there. It's giving a message along to our, our children. Yep. So. Um, I was very impressed with that, and that was still funny. They still managed to make it funny. You know, there was an evil, um, I think it was an evil person trying to take yeah. over a, a sea, seal sanctuary. I did film yeah. most of that show. Um, I'll, I'll probably upload what I did film, but it was a bit hard. People sat in front of me mm. towards the end, and I just had the yeah. back of people's heads. So I didn't get the end of it, but I'll probably upload the footage yeah. that I did get, because it, it's so cute, the seals. Are, yeah. Adorable. Um, food has a lot to lack at SeaWorld. Didn't like the food at all. I We bought um, some baguettes and they were cold and there was this horrible... Yeah, they weren't Horrible pleasant. sauce on it. funny relish in it that... Yeah, it and the bread wasn't... It wasn't fresh. No. I, I personally would try and avoid eating at SeaWorld. Yeah, the first day we went we did eat and it cost us a lot of money. Mm. And um, the next day, we decided to eat a big breakfast yep. and just get ice cream um, at yeah. SeaWorld, and then we had a big dinner. Yeah. So I, I would avoid eating at SeaWorld. The other parks are yeah. fantastic, which is a bit of a surprise because Village Roadshow, who own um, SeaWorld, Wet n Wild, um, Movie World, Movie World uh, Paradise Country, the, the food is brilliant mm. at those parks. It's just SeaWorld where it falls down. I don't know why, but um, it's not great there. There's no nice restaurants, yeah. buffet restaurants. but um, And you can't bring your own food in. Yeah. You're not allowed to bring food in, so it makes it hard. Yeah, so people, I would suggest... 
Eat before you go. Eat before you go, yes. But apart from the food, it's a beautiful park. I do like it. Um, we didn't buy a lot of merch because it's not what we're into collecting yeah. so much. But we did get a few mementos. Here, first let me show them the, um, the map. So that's the map of SeaWorld. It's not as big as the others, as you can probably see. Um, and like I said, the Nickelodeon section is awesome. Oh, that's brilliant. There's yeah. like a Nickelodeon, um, like, leisure land, which is aimed at children, but big children too. We can yeah. all go on the rides. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's Spongebob, mm -hmm. um, Dora. A lot of character meets. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle theme, which is really good. Yeah, yeah SeaWorld's not lacking on the character meets. So we met Spongebob, Patrick and... Squidward? Squidward. We met uh, Chase and Marshall, Marshall, which Mar our little boy Marky absolutely and loved. And Bianca from Paw Patrol. Yes, um, and we met all the Ninja Turtles. Yep, and we met Dora. And Dora, yep. So not for the kids, the character meets are fantastic and there's, there's a lot of times during the day, so you shouldn't miss them And all. they do shows as well. Shows, like, yeah. Like a Dream World only has the one Madagascar show a day. Yeah. Where um, at... Sea World, there is I think two Paw Patrol and two turtle shows yeah. a day. So, yeah, um, no, that was very good. Yeah, um, so we didn't buy a lot from there. Um, yeah, it's not what we what we do, what we collect, but um, we bought a little Marky, um, a little pup, Rocky, Rocky, because I think he already has rubble. He has rubble. Um, he has a chase. Yeah, and so we're trying to get all the pups for him. I think we have to get Sky and Marshall and. No, he's got a Marshall. He's got a Marshall. He thing. needs Sky, and I think there's another female pup, a white one. Okay. Um, we bought little Bianca some nice little shirts. Now, this was a necessity because she was freezing. She there's went this, swimming. Yeah, there's a new section at SeaWorld called The Reef, and it's I think it's aimed more at children. So there's like a little um, beautiful statues of fish and all the yeah. underwater marine animals, wildlife and um, yeah. water squirts out now bianca went in there she was so excited she was not happy she got very cold she did not like it yeah um we had to go buy her a new towel and new mm. clothing and um to warm her up mark yeah. on the other hand loved it he wouldn't get out mm -hmm. um, but yeah it wasn't bianca's cup of tea no no um the little princess yeah no. didn't like it and no. the other shirt that christy bought little b was a Shimmer and Shine. Shimmer and Shine, which I don't know too much about this show. It's a little girl program. Bianca it's likes a, it. Obviously, it's a Nickelodeon yeah, show. Yeah, it's Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. um, so, that's our other little shirt. And um, we are, being on the character meets, yes. um, we did have a photo with all the Ninja Turtles and got a frame. Oh, the glare's pretty bad. We got the frame, the photo, and a carry bag. Yeah. Um, for a discounted price. Um, last time we got a movie world frame with a photo, so this time we went for, for Ninja Turtles. And next time we might do DreamWorks because we'd like to try and yeah, change up the frames. Around. Now we also got, because I was explained that in all the stores they have specials, so it'll be spend, buy anything in the store and you can have one of these for $5 or one of these for $10. Yes. So at this store we got this polar bear for $10 instead of like 30 so it is so cute. It is so cuddly. We were thinking of giving it away as a gift, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I like it. I have to cuddle it. Yeah. We love, I think the polar bears are special to us because um, when we went back in 2017, we thought we were going to miss seeing the baby polar. He was. So he was released to the public the, the day, day we flew home. So we so made we, an extra special trip. We made trip. an extra trip before we went to the, uh, the aeroplane. To fly home to see little Mishka released, and we yep. saw it, and he was gorgeous. So, Christy loves the polar bears, yes, so this will be a little. This is my own little Mishka that yeah. I brought home. Yeah, he's very cute, beautiful. Okay, now again, the drinks, same price refill eight dollars, just a different cup. So, that worked out, and you could also do the same with popcorn. Yes, so you bought this bucket for ten dollars full of popcorn. This wasn't free refills, no. but it was cheap. Yeah, but and then three dollar refills, so that worked in keeping the children quiet a lot because they love popcorn. We do. Um, and then the only thing that was good about 
the lunch was the kids' meals came with this the cool little, little Sea World Cup. Sea World Cup, yeah. So that was a good little collector cup for them to bring home. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so yeah, not too much merch from Sea World. Um, we did have some other stuff that we bought as gifts, but we won't show that on the channel because we haven't we haven't given, them given out it yet. out to anyone yet. So um, next we have Movie, Movie World, World, our favourite, favourite theme park. park. Okay, I'll let Andy speak a lot about Movie World because he absolutely loves it. It's everything I love he collects. Movie World. Yep. So, as a child, my favourite cartoon was Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny over Mickey Mouse any day. And I think my whole family was like that. My brother Jonathan, we remember watching Looney Tunes more than anything. So, you know, to have that feel of Looney Tunes mixed with DC Comics, probably my favourite of any pop culture. Um, you know, it's amazing. It's, it's everything for me. Um, I prefer that to Disney. I prefer it to pretty much anything else. So, we had a ball. Now, the big thing about um, Movie World was Andrew wanted to go there. It was his birthday while we were away. I turned 40 people. And I'm not ashamed to say it. And he wanted to go to Movie World and Hard Rock Cafe for his 40th birthday. So, that's what we did. That's what we did. Yep. So... Do you want to show the map? Oh, we got the map. Yep. Now, a special thing about Movie World is Tom and Jerry. Yeah, we there. hadn't seen Tom and Jerry they before. They were new. Love Tom and Jerry. And again, all the Hanna-Barbera characters are now owned by Warner Brothers. So that, you know, Scooby-Doo and um, Tom and Jerry are now, can be seen at the park, which is amazing. Here's a map. It's a pretty decent sized park. The theming is... Um, fantastic. You get sucked right into the atmosphere yeah. of this park. Yep. Um, lots of character meets. And the characters lots pull of, off their roles yep. well. They put on the American accent to sound like, like Supergirl, to sound like Kara. And that's the thing, you don't just meet characters who are dressed up in padded suits. You've got Superman. Yeah, you've got the Wonder actors. Woman, um, Robin, Harley and Joker. And I must say... The jokers that were at the park were Amazing. brilliant. They brilliant, were yeah. so good. They they played their characters yeah. brilliantly. Looney Tunes, we missed Daffy Duck this time. Uh, uh, we may have seen day. him the first day. Um, we didn't see Leghorn Foghorn, which is my brother's favourite character. Uh, but we did see a few new characters, as we just mentioned. Tom and Jerry, we saw Cyborg, yes. which is another new one that we hadn't seen before. Different Harley this time than Different we had last Harley, time. Different Harley, yeah. Previously, it was the animated series Harley, which is my personal favourite. This time, they sort of do a Suicide Squad. Which is my favourite Harley. Yeah, it's the new Harley. It's not the Harley to me. So looking forward to the movie. What? Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey, yes, that is coming up. Um, again, we bought a, a probably more merch at this store, this park than any other. Yeah, and what we're going to show you isn't even all of it. It's pretty much all of what we bought, but we also bought... Quite a bit from Mark and Bianca. And presents from my brother. Yeah. And, you know. um, so again, we did the cup, the drink. This cup's got four heroes at the top uh, with their corresponding major super villains at the bottom. We see Brainiac and Black Manta there and um, Joker and, and Zoom. So again, $8 to refill. Saved us a lot of money. We had a few of them. Um, and then we did the popcorn bucket again. This time and it's a Batman bucket. This time it's a Batman bucket. And last time it got broken. It got smashed on on the top. So this time it's getting put away in our collection. And we can take these, all these cups and buckets, we can take back. If we go back in two years, yeah, take we them can back. take them all with us and, and reactivate. just pay the reactivation cost. Yep. So that would be taking this back in two years and only paying three dollars. Yeah, that's right. So that that's a bargain. We didn't know that. No. So we didn't take our buckets with us. But we know now. We know now. Um, I think we met all the all the characters and had photos with them except for Harley Quinn. We didn't meet Harley, but Mark and Bianca, no, Mark and April were very lucky to have a photo with and Harley. Harley. Um, saw Catwoman numerous of time. I mean, again, Village Roadshow theme parks. More villains, please. I want to yes. see Riddler. I want to see Penguin. I want to see Lex Luthor, Black Mantra. I want to see Ocean Master. Bring him to the parks. I want to see them all. I want to see, again, I want to see Fred, Daphne, and Velma. 
Yeah, they only have Shaggy and Scooby. Yep. And I want to see Porky Pig, Roadrunner, Coyote, Yosemite Sam. Bring them. I'm happy with what we had. But add some can, extras in you there. You can too. add some extras. Um, but saying that, you know, I can't say enough about this park. I love it. I would live there if I could. I absolutely adore it. I would go back every day. Um, and the merch there is everything is amazing. The whole feel of it, the theme. I met Dorothy, my childhood yeah. you know, favorite movie probably. We watched it every day as a child. Um, she was very sweet, Dorothy. Yeah. We met Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe, yep. Yeah. Not that any of the kids knew who she was, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they posed. Yeah. But anyway, we'll show you a bit of our merch. Um, do you want to start? Uh, well, the first thing we have got here is a shirt I bought for April, uh, Bianca. Absolutely love this top. It reminds me of the Disney tops that you get with the um, like kind of collage mm. But I just thought it was a very cute Tweety top. So we got this one for Bianca, which is very cute. Yeah. We did get Mark um, a shirt. Not that he wanted it. He kind of mm. told us he didn't want it, but we bought it anyway. Um, it was just Looney Tunes characters. Yeah, just Looney Tunes yeah. characters on it. Yeah, do you want yeah. to explain about your... Okay, your and then we've got this huge Roadrunner plushie. Not now, this plushie would normally retail for about, what, $50, do you reckon? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. But this was in the Western, Western area. There's a shop outside the log ride. And it was, again, buy anything in the store. And we could get this for $15. So he's very cute. He's got the Warner Brothers stamp on his foot. Um, we had a bit of trouble packing him to come home. But we managed to get him home mm -hmm. safely. He's very cool. Uh, probably would have bought more of them for that price as gifts if we could have gotten them home yeah. a lot easier. But really love this. Just got to find somewhere to put it now. Mm-hmm. That's right. Now, I think you've got a few presents to show off. Okay, so as we said before, that we gave um, our kids money for them to spend on themselves. Yeah, we did. But two of our daughters are very sweet. So Bridget and April um, decided to spend their money on me. Not all of it, <laughs> just some of it. So Bridget bought me this really cute Tweety tote bag. It's very pretty. Love all the colours on it. Um, then April, she bought me the purse that matches. Um, they did buy me something else. I think it's in one of the bags down there. Would have thought it was your birthday. <laughs> um, there was a. There go. They both together bought me the Tweety mug. That matches the bag set. I couldn't believe that they were spending their money on me. I mean, they had so much they could have bought for themselves. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate it. They're such loving, beautiful ch children. And then I purchased um, the keychain to go with the set. So I can hang off. I won't use it as a keychain. I'll just be hanging it off the bag. And it was like, they're like $10 each, the keychains, or two for 15. So I bought the other Tweety one. Yeah, you know, Tweety's not a it. nice bird. If he was nice, he'd just let Sylvester eat him. Well, who wants to be eaten? Nobody wants to be eaten. No. So, yeah, so that was beautiful. So I was quite spoiled this trip. My husband bought me the Disney Lego. And then two oh, of the kids... I'll get you that as well. Oh, we'll show that in a minute. And then my daughters bought me this awesome Tweety set. So... Very lucky I was. Very spoilt. And no, it wasn't my birthday, so. Mm. Go figure. Okay, so Hubby bought me a hat. So he knows my favourite um Batman villain. Batman villains are Harley and Joker. But I, I do like Suicide Squad. Harley and Joker. Mm. <laughs> just mm. just sort of like So he bought me this hat. Harley Quinn hat, which is quite cool. So it says Puddin on the front, has a little heart, has her pigtails, and it has Harley's kiss on the back. I don't know if I'll wear it, but I'll definitely display it. So it's a pretty funky hat. It's pretty funky. I did wear it around the park for a bit. I was hoping to meet Harley no. so that I could wear it in a photo with her, but we weren't lucky enough. Like I said, Harley and Joker play their characters really well. 
So we saw Joker, he was being quite rude. This woman asked for a selfie and she was getting it all set up and he just went, too long, I'm leaving. He just exited the video, the, the photo before she managed yeah. to snap it. But he was taking people's hats, he was throwing people's water bottles around. He, he was very he entertaining. He put one hat in the bin. Yeah, he, put, he, oh, he <laughs> held his hat over her head, made a jump for it and then put it in the bin. Um, yeah, so he, he was very entertaining. So yeah, these, that's, I really like this hat. I think it's cool. I'm going to display it somewhere. And um, yeah, very cool. Very cool. What else we got? Okay. We have... Movie World Bugs Bunny Trophy. Trophy. Yeah, I gather it's supposed to be like an Oscar or something like that. But um, yeah, that's cool. We saw it last time and didn't pick it up and yeah. said we should have picked it up. That one's special this time, $10. So we made so. sure we get it this time. Um, we got a... My favourite Looney Tunes character. Marvin the Martian magnet for our fridge. Oh, and we got this. So Bridge and I, wow, Andrew was off in the, is it 4D? 4D. 4D yeah. um, theatre with the other children. Bridget and I surprised hubby with um it's a Looney Tunes a coin set numbered to 500 so we have Daffy Duck Sylvester the Cat Bugs Bunny Tweety and Marvin the Martian and it comes with a little certificate, certificate of authenticity and last time I got the DC villain set I missed out on the DC hero set um, and I saw one on eBay for $150, so I guess I'm never be getting that. Yeah, because these are they're only $50 for the set. So I was I was very happy with that. Thank you. Um, we got some limited edition coin sets, Bugs Bunny, a nice display, and what's the other one? Wonder Woman. And that one's in a nice display as well, even though that one's upside down. Oh, is it? And I then we do love our pins. And of course you can't go to a movie theme park and not get the pins. So we got... I do wish we'd bought more. Yeah, I do. I would have bought them all if I had my time over. Roadrunner. Marvin the Martian because it's Christy's favourite. We have Wiley Coyote, genius. We have the 50 year anniversary of Scooby Doo pin. We just have, uh, I've been to Movie World, which I probably would have left that there if I had my time over and got another one of the characters. And of course, the greatest pop culture character of all time, hands down, beats everybody. Superman's 80th anniversary, which was last year, not this year. Um, so that's about all we got from Movie World. Well, we did get lots of photos which we've got to get printed, um, but we did do something very special. So there is a, if you go check back in our videos, there'll be a video on the Movie World Daily Parade. Um, so they do a float parade with all the characters and there's always a prince and princess of the parade. Um, you've got to uh, obviously sign your child, children up and hope there's a spot. Um, you pay, I think it was $60 each, either $30 or $60 each. And um, all the money goes to um, like an organization to help children. So it's a fundraiser. So we signed up Mark and April and they were Prince and Princess of the Parade. So they got to have some awesome um, photos with all the characters. That's how they got Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. They were dressed up, they had thrones. They were dressed up in a cloak, a crown. They had their um, scepter, yeah. wand thing. Um, they got to be part of the float. So they got driven in a vintage car and were driven down the parade um, to wave at everybody. Mark was not impressed. No. <laughs> April was loving the attention. Uh, so check out the, the video guys, it's very cute. Um, yeah, and 
lots of photos. I will be putting up more photos on YouTube. I'll be making a whole um, holiday video again like I did last time. Um, we bought the photo package again. This time it cost us, I think all up it cost us $80 in the end. Um, but that was for all ride photos and all character photos. And that was across Movie World, Sea World and Wet n Wild. Yes. So um, we have to print off the photos, but we did get some printed. So this is us, not the whole family, but we did meet, they were calling it the Justice League, but... It's not so much the Justice League. Just DC characters. DC characters, heroes. yes. And then we did a bunch of green screen photos, which were quite fun. Yeah. Um, so we got this one printed. Ocean Master or Orem. It's all looking a little scared. Yeah, that was cool. Enjoyed that. So yeah. And don't forget on the Saturday night, my son Valentine and I went to Fright Nights. And that was jam packed. And I would say, I love the things that were there. I love the stuff was there, but the people made it Pretty much unbearable. Needed fast passes. Needed fast. Uh, we'll know did, that for next time. I did four out of five mazes, which they were fantastic, really good. They were gory. They were yeah. I wouldn't take my kids. Um, I saw the Leatherface one, uh, House of Cain, it, and then I can't remember the other. I missed out. Oh, zombie. Oh yeah, and Zombie Land. I did Zombie Land, and yeah, they were very scary. They were, they were actually really, really good. Um, the one I missed was the House of Wax. Dollhouse. Yeah, yeah Dollhouse one. But um, again, it was an experience. I know if I'm going to do it again, i got to have a fast pass or I ain't going. Um, I managed to get the collector cup to go with that. There were some other gross things that they brought yeah. home. Like, they were selling your drinks, cordial, in blood bags. So you were drinking from blood bags. Um, I'm sure Christy might have a photo she may put up for you guys. I do have a photo of that, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was good. I mean, I love horror. I love horror. You know, to have, you know, Leatherface, you know, walking through the park. And I mean, it's amazing. And I saw um, Jason Voorhees was there and, and, and just um, zombies and, and monsters and clowns. And it, it was really good. It was frightening. Just too many people. That's, that's the only qualm I have. Too many but people. That is because it's only on for so long. Yeah, it's only on for five Saturdays for the year. Yeah. So you get five shows. And you did it. go to the first. I went to the first, so. Um, again, loved everything that was there. Like just too many people. And next it, time there'll be fast passes. Next time we'll be getting a fast pass. Yeah. But um, overall, Movie World is amazing. I love it. I'm, I'm going to go again. And... I would probably leave out Dream World yeah. or something so I could do more days at Movie World. I mean, obviously if Dream World um, redevelops and brings out new stuff, definitely go again. But at the moment, there wasn't too much different to when we were back in 2017. Yeah. Um, so, but there was- the Only the log ride and the, oh, and the, um, the new flight ride. Yeah. Um, but no, I still think Movie World is the best. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. You should definitely check out Movie World if you're going to Queensland. Just check out Queensland. Queensland is lovely. I love it there. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, oh, even though we've only seen the Gold Coast. Well, that's okay. I want to see Brisbane. I want to do Australia Zoo. I'll, I'll, oh, we know. do want to do Australia Zoo, yes. So I will be going up. Next time, I will be going up to Brisbane. Um, hopefully, I can go in winter and I can go watch the, some rugby and some football and drag along my beautiful wife. Um, but I'm, I have decided one thing. My NRL team is the Gold Coast Titans. I have a team now. <laughs> so I didn't have a team before. So anyway. Anyway, thanks for sharing our trip with us, guys. Um, we had a great time. Kids had a, had a time. great time. Yep. Um, so I hope you enjoy watching all our videos. Check out the other videos. Um, the kids on slingshots and rides so and and just uh, th park walkthroughs. Yep. Um, so yeah, have a look, make up your own mind, leave comments, um, and um, hope to hear from you guys soon, and check out for more videos, and happy collecting, and goodbye for now. See you later, guys.